Hi guys, this is Gorax and today we'll talk about the new war machines. Keep in mind the recording was made on a test server, so it all might change and you'll see these units on the max level. So let's start with a Dragon Den. To unlock Dragon Den you need 3 star orange uh, green dragon, 3 star orange bond dragon and 3 star orange black dragon. So it's quite expensive, but on top of that you need 850 wheels which I call precision parts, so 850 is quite a lot. To unlock flame cannon you need 6 star orange plus 4 firebird, 5 star orange plus 4 death knight and 5 star orange plus 4 fire elemental. So the only problem here is uh, this death knight. You can get a firebird through Pantheon and also buy him for 1 pound. And it costs you 100 precision parts. Okay, so let's see what Dragon Den does. So Dragon Den's rearing is a skill. And so at the beginning of the battle, the Dragon Den summons the dragon to the battlefield. The dragon has 50,000 HP plus 1100, 114,000 HP because of my uh, stats uh, attack and uh, 150,000 HP. The dragon's attack and HP will be increased by 3% for every flying unit. So this is quite useful for Dragon Mutare who's running flying units. So this is something all these players will want, but not only them, this is quite good uh, siege, machine, siege machine on its own. Second skill when you get to 40 enhancement levels, the cave dragon will create a shelter for itself every 20 seconds increasing 20% magic in, uh, in resistance and 10% unit damage reduction. So this will make him more tanky every 20 seconds. And on top of that, when you get to enhancement level 80, he will create a sh shelter for all friendly flying units. So every 20 seconds, this is going to apply to all your friendly flyers units. Now let's see it in the action. So as you can see, he's here in the top. He summoned basically another dragon. And that's the shield, so every 20 seconds he's going to shield. Let's see how this shield works against a full enemy. I mean, let's see if it, he really casts it for every unit. Yeah, he does. As you can see, all the units are flashing, so they are damage, uh, they, uh, stats are increased. Let's check the stats. So basically, the cave Pterosaur does almost the same damage as a baby azur dragon and that baby azur dragon is on level 5. So the question is, is it worth it? I believe it's worth it, especially if you're playing uh, Dragon Mutare or you're running flyers because he will boost them and he will get boosted by them, okay? And um, he's a mix between the battery ram and iron vehicle, so he's uh, not super tanky and not particularly doing a lot of damage, but he is quite good. And the second machine we can unlock is called Flame Cannon, and this is another thing that is great for Dragon Mutare. Uh, so let's go through the skills quickly. Uh, so Fire Bomb is a Flame Cannon, fires a jet of infernal flames dealing damage, true damage, okay, so it's fixed damage to enemy units within a large range. It has 30% chance to burn enemies for 5 seconds, so this will utilize that, and it's also quite good for um, Tazer, because that's a debuff. And we go to tw uh, enchantment level 40, the firebomb range expands and covers a huge area, stunning the burning target for 3 seconds. So if the target is burning, uh, it, can, it, can be it will be stunned for another 3 seconds, which is quite useful. On top of Dragon's Mutare stun already, this is amazing. And then high energy, so enchantment level 80, a fire ground forms in the firing coverage of flying cannon, burning the target and decreasing 10% 10, 10 unit damage reduction of the target for 5 seconds. So this is another debuff, so you will make enemies uh, units uh, vulnerable. So let's see how it looks in the battle, it looks quite good, yeah, it looks big, okay so let's see how it hits, okay so this small fire, that's it. Deals quite a lot of damage, to be honest. As you can see, it's quite a lot of damage. Okay, let's keep the fight.
let's see how much damage it did. Okay, it's not bad. Now let's put it to the real test, see how it does against uh, beefy units. But I thought the range would be much higher. Okay, let's see what will it prioritize. Okay, so it's prioritizing the back line, as you can see, it's stunned the enemies. Okay, let's burn the enemies. Okay, so if they're burning, it should uh, stun them. So it's focusing the back rows, so it's nice as well. And it stuns them. Okay, let's see the fight stats. Okay, so flame cannons damage. Firebomb did as much damage as uh, Dragon's Mutara ultimate. So it's quite good. Now, so I believe everyone will want flame cannon when they run and burn in uh, comps and uh, Taza. It's quite useful, brings you stun, brings you debuff, and um, reduce uh, enemies, targets, uh, damage reduction, which is quite useful. This is it for today's video about War Machines. These are the new two that are released. I'll make another video from the test server, guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss on them. Thank you, bye.